light. It's all around us. At first glance, you might think that you can see everything that light has to show you. But let's take a closer look. If you pay attention, you'll see that there's more than meets the eye. Take, for instance, the light pouring out my bathroom. With the door wide open, there's nothing too special to see. But what if I close it? Wait, what? You're not imagining things. The light coming through the doorway splits into eight distinct lines. But why? To find out, we need to look at our light sources. The answer is right here. There are four light bulbs, and behind them, four reflections. That makes eight points of light, the exact same as the eight lines we saw on the ground. You see, when light spreads freely, it becomes more and more diffuse. That is, the farther it travels, the more evenly spread over any surface it becomes. When the door is nearly closed, it creates a narrow gap, known in physics as a slit. In this specific case, it's a single slit. This means the waves of light from each of the eight light sources, four bulbs and four reflections, have essentially one path to follow when they enter the gap. And because they are all approaching the gap from slightly different angles, they create eight distinct beams at those same angles. But here's where it gets even cooler. Remember, it's not just the light bulbs producing a beam of light, it's the reflections too. Now watch what happens as I cover each reflection in the mirror. The beams of light entering the doorway just vanish. Four beams never disappear, but four of them vanish, then come back when I uncover them again. This proves that each reflection is creating its own beam of light through the gap in the doorway. This demonstration of the single slit experiment is really easy to reproduce. In fact, if you watched the solar eclipse this August, you might have seen that the shadows of the leaves and all the trees turned into crescents as the moon went over the sun. As the moon blocked out the sun, the light had a narrower gap to pass through, and eventually only a crescent was left, at which point the shadows became incredibly weird. Those are the shadows, the literal crescent shadows because of how close we are to totality right now. That's just the leaves on the tree. But go ahead and try this out for yourself. All you really need is a doorway and two or more lights. Or if you want to get really creative, try it with some colored lights. In fact, when I first posted this experiment online a couple weeks ago, a lot of people went and tried it out for themselves. But my favorite by far was of someone who had tinted windows, and when they would close their door, a rainbow would appear on the ground with all of the colors neatly spread into even lines. There are more complex experiments that you can try too, such as the double slit experiment, which is one of the most perplexing and counterintuitive experiments that you might ever try. It goes beyond the basics of light and can lead us to explore some of the quantum properties of electromagnetic waves. Next time, I'm going to show you another really cool phenomenon and all you need for it is a magnifying glass. So stay tuned for that. And if you enjoyed this video, please share and subscribe. Hey everyone, if you didn't know, I'm also a science fiction author. So in keeping with the themes and mission of my books, I donate 50% of all my book and merchandise profits to wildlife, environmental, and climate programs. In 2017, I raised almost $250. I want to crush that number in 2018, but to do it, I need your help. So check out my books, grab a t-shirt, and spread the word.